guys, welcome back to Colson Scooters. I'm Colson Smith, and today we're here at my dad's store. Um, one of you guys actually sent me this animal. It's an axolotl. I've been wanting one for a really long time, so I'm very happy. Um, this is uh, the person that sent it to me. A lot of little axolotl. Make sure you check them out on Facebook. I'll leave a link in the description below. Um, she, I already opened it because I got excited, but she did a really good job packaging it. Um, here is the axolotl. Oh, I gotta put it on the table there. I wanna come in and get a closer look at it. She gave me a little keychain as well. Um, and a care guide. Um, she put some ice, uh, some cold packs in there as well, so that's really, really nice. I just wanna give a big special thanks to Brenna at a lot of little axolotls for sending me this, so thank you. All right guys, so here is the care guide that she gave me. If you wanna pause it right now, um, you can read this. I'm just gonna give a few seconds. And then here's the second page. Um, so yeah, just pause the video and you can read the care guide. I did put them in this little container here um, with an aerator. Um, I'm floating the bag and then I'll be putting them in there just to get them out of the bag, get them some oxygen and uh, until I go home. But right now I'm at my dad's store. so. I'll see you guys when I get home to show you things. So this is the temporary setup for the axolotl. Here is the little guy right now. Um, there he is. Um, the temperature you want to keep for an axolotl tank is about like 60 um or be definitely below 70 but like 60 to 68 range right now it's at like 68 i think and um i'm working on getting the temperature down because of this fan is really really bad uh it blows like barely in the air but i have been putting ice packs in here for um to keep the temperature down and replacing them every time it runs out of or like it it um melts um, but I got this temporary fan on here, and I got a temporary air hose going down into an air bubbler. And uh, I'm going to be getting a sponge filter, and I'm going to be getting a better fan that blows a lot more air and it's quieter. Because this is really loud. But I'm actually going to turn it off for the video. Um, you want For an axolotl, you want a 15-gallon ta tank or a bigger. For the babies, you can keep them in a 10-gallon, um, and you can keep two in a 20. Um, but here's that little guy. This is a 20 on, uh, but it's a 20 tall, so it's not a 20 long. Uh, that's a 20 long right there, and I'm gonna be putting, moving him into one of those later on. But he is small, so I'm keeping him in here for now. That is why the water is only this far from the bottom, because he doesn't need that much space right now, because he is just a little baby. I'm gonna be getting some more decoration, like some plants, and some fake plants, maybe some live plants. And I'm also gonna be getting him a little cave to hide in. Um, <clears throat> But yeah, he is eating really, really well. I just fed him blood worms this morning. Uh, let's see, yep, he left a little mess back there. But uh, if you can see that without with the glare. But he left that little mess, so I'm gonna have to clean that up. But he definitely eats like a pig. <clears throat> blood worms is not a staple diet for him. You wanna feed him earthworms or rat crawlers or um, more of a protein-filled uh, worm. The I, If I sound stuffy, or if I sound different, it's because I my nose is just stuffed up from pollen. So, that's why I'm a little bit stuffy. Uh, here comes the leopard gecko, Jax, coming over to say hi. Uh, when I first put him in the tank, Jax was actually at the glass, really curious, trying to get to him. Um, yeah, he's doing really, really well. Uh, thank you again, um, Brenna, for the axolotl. Uh, I'll leave her Facebook in the link in the description, as I said earlier in the video. I got one little water lettuce plant right here. Um, I just shoved that in here yesterday um, just to get a little bit more oxygen and it will cl clean the tank a little bit. I'm gonna be getting more water lettuce and I'm beginning a uh, light for the top. Um, the water lettuce will provide shade for the axolotl because the axolotl do not like um, lots of light. The reason it looks light, bright right now is because my window, hold up, sorry because my window is actually partly open, so just for the sake of the video. I put this log in here. I did clean the log out 
Um, it was from my pond, my personal pond, the mini pond outside. If you haven't seen the mini pond, go check out the uh, one of my mini pond videos. And you can check out check it out. I'm gonna be doing an update on the mini pond and all my animals, um, including Jax, which is right here. I'm gonna give a quick little update right now. There's Jax. Um, there's the frog fish, which I still have to go back in the video and say um, what the name of it is. Uh, most liked comment was the one that would win. So I'm gonna put the name right here. Um, I'll have to go back and edit and look at what the comment was, but that'll be his name. Uh, 10 gallons doing really well, that big Monty. Uh, yeah, and then Crusty Geckos are doing well. They're nocturnal, so they're not out right now, but they're both in those cages. And our Panther Chameleon Rango, which is chilling out right here. He's gotten a lot bigger, and he's starting to get some red coloring, which is really, really nice. This plant is starting to die, so I'm going to have to water it a lot more. Um, and yeah, just missed his cage a lot more. But um, he's doing really, really well. He eats like a pig. He's starting to eat out of the tongs, which is really, really cool. Um, and then there's Jax again. He's super curious, like, what am I, what am I doing? So axolotls are actually found in Mexico in one lake, and we think they are extinct, and they're most likely extinct in the wild. But there are many in captivity, and they are extinct in the wild because of global warming and buildings. But um, they are fantastic pets as long as you keep their water cool and you keep the parameters right, keep their tank nice and clean, and you make sure you feed them. Um, they can be really, really nice pets. You don't want to handle them, so if this is an, if you want a pet that you can handle and touch, do not get an axolotl. Um, they are kind of a nice pet that you watch from a fish tank. Um, you can touch them, but they do have a slime coat, so you don't want to ruin their slime coat. So you want to make sure that um, you don't ruin their slime coat because if they do ruin the slime coat, they will die. So if you want something you can touch, like a reptile, I'd recommend getting a crusty gecko that is one of the best beginner reptiles um, or a leopard gecko. They don't need any special lighting and they're really easy just to take care of and maintain. Um, but an axolotl is a great pet. They don't need special lighting as well, um, but they require um, to keep the tank cool and a lot of maintenance. So if you want to an easy pet to take care of and that you can handle and touch, I would not recommend getting an axolotl. Um, however, if you do take the time to take care of the axolotl and you don't want to touch him, then or you don't need to touch him, then axolotl would be a great pet. But keep in mind, you do have to feed him worms. So if you get grossed out about worms, then I wouldn't get an axolotl either. So that's going to wrap up today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, Smash the like button. Let's see if we can get to this video to 200 likes. If we can, um, I will do a giveaway soon. So make sure you get it to 200 likes. Um, if you're new here and you did enjoy the content, please consider subscribing and turn on your post notification bell so you'll be notified every time I make a video. Uh, it'll really, really help me out. Um, and yeah, stay tuned for new upcoming videos. i am be doing an update on Rango, which is right here, the Panther and below the Panther Chameleon. And that's probably going to be my next video, but we'll see. So make sure you stay tuned. Till next time. Peace.